What's up everybody, Keir Gomes here and welcome back. Well guys, today is gonna be a good one. <laughs> I never get tired of saying it and I hope you find it to be as true as I do. I feel like it's always a good one when we get to talk about playing cards. You guys like my, uh, you guys like my t-shirt by the way, my Gemini Dex t-shirt, which is a very appropriate t-shirt, very on brand for what we're gonna be doing today. So I've been a fan of Gemini for a really long time, really, I mean, since the inception of Gemini Dex. And over the years, I've been pretty fortunate. You know, I've got to review a, a decent amount of their decks, but something like this, doesn't come around very often for me. For those of you that know me, you know, as somebody who doesn't really consider himself a collector of playing cards, more just somebody who has too many of them. <laughs> Something that I never really got into was playing card gilding. Now I've always appreciated it. And I want to say that now I think gilding looks awesome, but it's, it's definitely a collector's thing. And I'm not really much of a collector. However, every once in a while, a gilded deck will come out and it really is just astonishing. The thing about gilding is depending on the colors you choose to do for the gilding, depending on the quality of the gilding, and depending on the quality of the cards after the gilding has been completed, it's just such a process, right, for somebody to ultimately probably never open and definitely never use. But if you find a theme that works with a gilding and you find the right type of gilding that you can put on the deck, it really can elevate what went from a standard designed custom deck of cards to being a work of art and kind of something you could have out on display all on its own and giving it kind of a different purpose or a different use case. So getting past all of that mumbo jumbo about gilding, I just want to kind of rip the bandaid off. Here's what happened. I saw the Gemini game over gilded deck and I had to have it. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the new game over playing cards gilded edition by Gemini decks. As well, Gemini was nice enough to hook me up with some extra stuff. So make sure you stick around to the end because I will be adding a very special deck to the giveaway break. All that and more coming up, but before we get into it, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and get you guys on your way. All right, now look, I'm gonna keep this quick. I've already reviewed the Gemini game over deck. I did a full in-depth review right here in this room, pretty much sitting in this exact spot. If you guys saw that review, you know my thoughts on the deck. I love it. I think it's an awesome cardistry deck and I think the, the theme of this deck is very well represented throughout the entire thing. So I am gonna give you guys the quick overview in case you haven't seen these cards before, but it's gonna be fast. And I really wanna focus on the gilding. So the tuck box looks like a standard Gemini tuck box, or at least it looks just like the game over uh, tuck box. And that's because it is, it is the exact same tuck box. It looks like an old uh, Game Boy. You can see front, sides and back all have kind of that same theme. The only difference between this one and the uh, regular edition is that this one has this really interesting and very flashy custom seal. You can see the seal is like this holographic kind of long rectangular seal. It looks really, really good. It says that it is prism gilded, which is the, the name of this gilding, the specific, I guess, design and pattern. By the way, it looks amazing. Spoiler. Uh, and as well, this one is number 166 out of only 288 made. So that's pretty cool. This is super limited. So for those of you that are collectors and you love gilded editions of decks, uh, this is probably one that you're gonna wanna get your hands on. Again, <laughs> make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Now I have reviewed this deck before, so I won't go all the way into it, but uh, yeah, the tuck box is really nice. It's very vibrant, very colorful, and does really good at kind of maintaining that Game Boy theme. Okay, I wanna see the gilding. I know you guys wanna see the gilding, so let's take a look at it. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at this, let me get close up. Oh my God, look at that. That is delicious. Oh my God, that looks so sick. That looks sick. In fact, this is gonna look really good in slow motion with some nice B-roll. You guys know there'll be some of that rolling here, probably at the beginning of the video too, because I love it so much. All right, yeah, so look at, so this is the prism gilding. Let's see if we can get that to focus. So the prism gilding, as you can see, it's like silver, chrome almost, but then it's got these triangles that are holographic. So depending on what angle the light is hitting them, it could be yellow, orange, red, green, blue, purple, pink. That is amazing. Very, very eye-catching. It definitely pops. And I, I think it, it's good because it matches the theme of the Game Over deck. It's kind of this 
80s retro style design. It's got this retro style gilding. I think it works great. This is like straight out of like the early 90s and I love it. So if you guys wanna see what the uh, rest of the cards look like, let's just give you a real quick look at them. So aside from the amazing gilding, this is uh, your amazing back design. You get a nice border with a bunch of color. Uh, very, very colorful back design. Even though the base color is black, uh, you're, you're gonna see your mix of, you know, like this teal color, purple, red, yellow, uh, and it looks really, really good as well. It's got this kind of micro border on the inside made up of different tile colors. So very retro. Again, this is meant to be kind of a homage to uh, vintage video games. Every ace in this deck is customized, uh, this one being a little bit bigger than the other ones. Uh, these are really funny and I like them a lot. I'm trying not to take the cards out of order because I don't want to mess up the gilding. Your jokers are identical, just looks like a little uh, gaming console or like a little TV with a joystick plugged into it. And as well, the rest of the faces and everything are completely custom on this deck. So I'll have some B-roll going so you guys can see what that looks like. But like I said, I have already reviewed the cards. I was more interested in showing off the intense and vibrant gilding on these cards. And you know what? It looks amazing. Now, here's a warning for those of you that are thinking about getting this. Uh, once you shuffle the cards, it will shuffle up the gilding order. So it'll still look amazing, but it's not going to be in those perfect triangular shapes. So if that's something that's going to bother you, uh, I mean, I don't know why you would be shuffling a gilded deck anyway. I think these cards are more for display. They're more for collecting. I wouldn't say they're really for being used and shuffled up. So don't really know. But if you do, hey, good for you, man. They still pretty much feel like Gemini like Gemini decks, you know, still crush stock. They still fan okay, which usually with gilding is kind of an issue. Doesn't really seem to be that big of an issue here. They fan pretty good. Let's see if, I don't know if you guys can catch the edges here if I, ooh, if so, that's neat. Oof. Well, first of all, I wanna say thank you, Gemini, for sending me this deck. It is awesome. I'm so stoked about it. As Soon as I saw it, I fell in love, so thank you. As well, they sent over an extra one, so I have deck number 167 out of 288, and I'm gonna be adding this one to the giveaway brick. So, so this deck here is gonna be worth some money. One of you will win it in the giveaway brick. It's gonna be number 167 out of 288, gilded, sealed, shipped to you with all of the other cards in there. So I think we're up to now 11 decks. It might be 12 already, or it might be 10. I'll have to check and let you guys know. Either way, if you guys want more details about that, I have talked about it at the end of pretty much every video, but uh, ultimately I am filling up a brick of the last 12 decks featured on this channel. So anything from uh, the first playing cards that I used in a tutorial to the Galactic Paradise deck that I unboxed and some of the Riffle Shuffle cards that just came out. So all kinds of stuff in there. I'm gonna be kind of uh, curating decks to fill up this brick box. Once I get to 12, I will be announcing a winner as soon as I get to 10,000 subscribers. So I am giving away a brick. If this is the first time you're hearing about it, go check it out. It's an awesome, it's an awesome little thing. And as always guys, if you like these types of videos, you can definitely let me know by hitting me with a thumbs up on the video. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you'll consider subscribing for more awesome content just like this. And with all that being said, I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't wanna miss a thing. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars, or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars.